Hi everybody, Ace Parts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. With summer right around the corner, I thought it'd be nice to talk about how to stay cool in a fursuit. So let's get started. First and foremost, you're gonna want to stay hydrated. I know it sounds fairly obvious, but it's incredibly easy to forget to drink water when you're running around having fun. And every couple conventions that I go to, I hear about somebody passing out in a fursuit from exhaustion or dehydration. Really, it's more common than you would think. One easy way to combat this is by wearing a camelback or any other kind of hydration pack. This makes your water supply exponentially more accessible than a water bottle in a backpack. I usually wear an insulated hydration pack, so when I'm at a convention, I just fill it up with some ice water and boom! Steady supply of cold drinking water for the day. And if you don't like drinking your water out of a rubber hose, you can always use a water bottle. And if you have a handler, you can ask nicely for them to hang on to it for you. Just please drink water. Next, you're going to want to wear the right clothing. Make sure to wear breathable fabrics whenever possible. You can also wear clothing specifically geared to cooling you off, like Under Armour or other kinds of workout clothes underneath your bodysuit or your outfit. And sometimes when I don't feel like wearing my arm sleeves, I typically go with a jacket. But I always try to go for something lightweight, like a light denim jacket or maybe a cardigan sweater. Nothing that's going to really insulate me and contain all the heat. So explore your options. Another way to combat overheating in a fursuit is to pace yourself. Try to avoid overexerting yourself, and if you need to take a break every now and again, take it. I know we want to be lively and animated and energetic when you're portraying your character, but make sure to remember to take physical limitations into account. I know this still seems pretty straightforward, but again, it's really easy to get carried away when you're having fun. Now if you're feeling kind of high-tech, you can always go with different kinds of cooling devices. One really simple but effective option is to install a fursuit fan. This is just a little electric fan that's placed inside the head and turned on and off typically with a switch. Some fursuit makers offer it as an option when you commission them, but a quick search on Etsy also led me to lots of different stores that sell these online. One of my favorite cooling device options is an evaporative cooling towel. You just soak them in water, wring them out, and then you get hours of cooling depending on the environment that you're in. They're also cheap and don't require power, which is a huge plus in some cases. And if you really want to go high-end, there are various cooling vest options available. One popular brand that I've seen used by a lot of fursuiters is Easy Cool by Easy Wolf. While I've heard that these are pretty darn effective at keeping you cooled down, it's a pretty pricey option, and they're relatively more geared towards full suitors. Mostly because they tend to be a bit bulky. So try a bunch of different options and see which one suits you best. So now that you have all this awesome info, what are we gonna do with it? Plan ahead! Make sure you check the conditions for where you'll be fursuiting before you get there. If you know you're gonna be in an air-conditioned convention center with a headless lounge for fursuiters and water stations around the hall, you'd probably be able to get away with packing a little bit lighter than you would if you were gonna be at an outdoor fur beat in the summertime. So try to think about whether you'll be indoors or outdoors, how long you plan to fursuit for, or whatever else you can think of that would require some thinking ahead. So thanks again for watching this week's Fursuit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have any tips for combating the heat that I didn't cover in this video? Go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I do read every single comment, and I try to reply to as many as possible. And if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for new videos every week. Also, if you want to directly support the content that I produce on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these beautiful Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I want to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Pshh.